Well, hello. We're back in Hogwarts again today. <laughs> Last episode, I feel like a lot happened. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, is that this episode, there better be no spiders, or at least minimal. I can, I can handle one or two. But if this game shows me another cave full of spiders that I have to fight, we are gonna have some beef, okay? That was not fun. Anyways, with that, what is on the agenda? <laughs> okay, live as a student until Professor Fig returns. Oh, stop it, does that say what I think it says? Oh my god, we finally made it to flying class? Yes, please. I have been waiting for this moment forever. I, I wanna know how flying works in this game. Shut up. <gasps> We have to fly through the hoops. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was like the size of her. Oh my god. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone. Please welcome a new student to our flying class. I look scary. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, oh. rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, uh, let's see what? how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Uh, <laughs> up. I wonder how hard this is going to be. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Oh. Up. I'm a master. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Girl, get on. Don't just stand there looking stupid. I'm a fall off, aren't I? Oh. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. <gasps> Good. Shut now, up. For your first lesson, fly <gasps> each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. <sighs> I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did it. Oh, she's zooming. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I mean, I was kind of flying like a grandma, so. Mm -hmm. What now? What What am I doing? What am I doing? This next set uh, will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, oh my God! You can zoom, zoom. Wee. What have you? Oh, that way. I'm going. Hello. Nice day for a flight. You are cocky. Oh, made it. Did anyone else see that? I did. That's all that matters. Oh, Dude, this is fun. House. Wish you could have experienced passing <gasps> the lake as the first year. Well, I'm doing it now. So, I don't like this guy. Why is he kind of sassy for no reason? I'm better than you, bro. This is does this mean I'm gonna be able to fly wherever I want now? Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Uh, get me out of there. Oh, well done. Have a moment. Yeah, let's chat. Tell me how good I did, because I did great. Oh my god, I'm a pro already. I see. Say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. 
I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh my god, why is everyone but always trying to get me in myself. trouble? We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. I don't care. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? No. <sighs> why are they always trying to get me in trouble? What did I do? I gotta say, why, what wouldn't Kagawa we? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Okay, so I don't have a choice then. Cool. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Yeah, no kidding. The headmaster already hates me as it is. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Why are you flying like that? Where are you going? Hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is that right flying so quickly? I don't know. He's kind of zooming though and i'm not prepared for that Here's oh my god oh my know. god lean forward for a burst of speed i Help am you need to escape a tricky situation I am oh <laughs> now that's more like it whoa you sure you're not hippogriff? maybe this game just looks There's so cool think of all the magic holding it up i mean look at it and the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh, we're going this way now. E Was that her That's whistle? whistle? This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. No, go faster. Oh. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Oh, oh. Hi. That was a kind of a rough landing, and where but. Where have you two been? Uh, it's his oh, fault. Hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you. Oh for my not God. My instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Oh. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I didn't have a choice. I tried. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thanks. Man, I literally, every single day in class, someone gets me in trouble. What is up with that? Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Chuck. <sighs> Whatever. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I want a broom. Hey. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Slytherin should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. Kind of saw that You're coming. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not forgotten about <gasps> our every venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hi, Sebastian. <laughs> Good I have more? Oh my god. I assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. 
Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. So now I'm a delivery driver? Oh my god. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. Tego, oh. have an idea for some way you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Wait, wh why do I have to be secretive? Okay. Interesting. That's a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot. Oh, Sebastian's is l learn a curse? Hold on. What is Sebastian trying to get me into here? One thing, I have way too much stuff and I kind of feel like I should get rid of some of it. Like, some of, like stuff like that. I just feel like I sh might as well sell it or something. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this one. It's because we have to go to Hogsmeade for that and I feel like going to Hogsmeade is gonna be useful anyways. What on earth? Everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's oh. just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Uh oh. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Oh, okay. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, well, before we do that... Hey. Oh my god, it's so far away. Before we do that, I want to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be fixed <laughs> up. Be thankful you have socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. <laughs> you're not dancing, <laughs> you're exercising. What is happening? See? And you'd said the charm's come out in the wash, Hello. but it hasn't. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Okay, I want to sell you a bunch of stuff. Okay, well, we got a new look. Um, I don't know if I necessarily look the best, but we're doing it. Now, is there a way for me to, um, fast travel this place? Because that's gonna be really long. Oh, no. <gasps> Stop it. That is so far. Whoa. Hold on. Is this one of these things? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Why did I say that? <laughs> okay. It says this thing. Incendio. Whoa, I just set everything on fire. Um. Incendio. And then sprint, 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 sprint. Why do you take so ding long? Okay, I did it. Okay. Cool. Well, we got another one of those checked off the list. Oh my god, is there another one here? How many of these are there? Uh, why are there more spiders? Also, what is going on down here? Ah. Oh my god, where are you? Oh, oh, it's these things again. Yikes. 
always given the dull oh. tasks. Am I supposed to take them out? What is happening here? What is this? I have this? a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beast flesh for everyone. <laughs> Imagine he's Your just... poaching days are over. Yeah, screw you. He didn't even know it was coming. What? <gasps> no, it's a little niffler. I think I ran into this too soon. I can't do anything with it. Oh, I feel bad. It's just a little niffler. What are those? Are those spiders? Oh my god. Why? I literally... Why? Why? Who? What is the purpose? Whoever made this stupid game is, um, dumb. <laughs> Did it. You know, I gotta say, I am proud I haven't died yet. Like in every other episode, I have at least died, like, once by now. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of stuff I can do here. That Pippin should have been here by now. It's me. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't no, matter. What? You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Girl, just do them yourself. Wait, can I? Mm. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Ah, uh, that didn't answer anything. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Huh? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Why is she so sassy? Jeez Louise. <laughs> I'm invisible. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work oh. with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Um, something tells me that she's gonna be the one that fails. I don't know, but she's a little sassy for my liking. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Okay. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. Whatever. I appreciate it. Rude lady. Now, where is the flu flame? We're going to find that because um, I am not making the run all the way down here again. Hello. I'm back. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? No. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Mm. <laughs> I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. I'd like an additional fee. No, 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 no. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Cambridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Oh. <laughs> I stole her book. Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. 
I shall return it to her immediately. Oh. Okay. What was my next quest to do? Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Shut up. I can buy a broom? Okay, well, we have to do that. We're here. Why would I not do it right now? Oh, here we are. Oh, <gasps> a new face. Wonderful. Hello. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes, Got I a am. few rare you weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. How do I... How do... How do... Uh. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly <laughs> safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right yeah. Then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Nope, I have another question to ask you. <laughs> Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Okay. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with a you one's darker reputation. Oh. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Okay, okay. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What kind of broom do I get? What are we looking for today? I don't know. Fiery temperament. I don't know that if that's me. Of the highest Whoa. quality. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that one. I like You'll it. You'll be thrilled with that broom. <laughs> I promise you. Whilst nearly I any broom bro. will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Uh -huh. Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. Okay. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Right. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Okay. Oh my god, why am I supposed to do all these? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing oh. flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate <laughs> with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. They've He's already talked about me. He's studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Man, I'm gonna make her hate me. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Sure. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. 
The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay, well, we're not doing that yet. Time, be sure to let me know. I don't know if we're going to finish all of these quests today. We'll do the flight test. Why do those do that? Can I fly? How do I fly? Oh, three. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. Boom, I did it. Isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent? Hey. What is this? What what do you do? Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he you probably... you into his broom testing mm. silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Why is she... Why does everyone hate me all of a sudden? I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some hmm. reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. It can't <laughs> be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pff, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. Mm. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. <laughs> okay, let's hope I don't mess this up. Okay. This is rather fun. Excellent. Uh oh, I missed those. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, okay. This is a little trickier than I was anticipating. But we'll get it, we'll get it. Uh oh, I missed that one. It's fine. There's 22 rings. Oh lord. <laughs> it's my girl sounds like she's having fun. What happens if I run into a tree? <gasps> oh my god. I am focusing so dang hard. Eek. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. I did it. Did I beat her? Wait, what was, what was the time? Haha, <laughs> you suck. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. So now she's swept up. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. 
You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Hmm. There you are. The cross oh. one's jewel is to beat. Hi. What, what do you want? <laughs> I'm back. back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the no-sayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Okay. Okay, let's be real. I think we all know what I'm gonna do. Was that him? Sebastian, I'm coming to meet you. What are you doing walking up here? <gasps> hey, Sebastian. Oh, why are you whispering? Oh my god, is this gonna be another sneaky thing? Oh my god. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. That well, you took the fall. Still me, worries me, but and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Oh? This way. Where am I going? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Entering. How do I just know how to do that? <laughs> so he's just leaving me. How did you find this place? My friend, what? Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you. I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Don't worry. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Fair enough. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. So what are we doing? I'm supposed to talk to you. Awkward. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. Huh. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Well, didn't he, isn't I've he related to like... anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. 
Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Ooh. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of... But you should what, learn he, it. He just cut himself off. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Go. I clicked the wrong button. I clicked E instead of F. You're getting it. I did it. Ready to actually try it out? Yes. Stick the target. Uh... Oh, wait, I have that. Put that in there. Bet. Okay. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Where? Both oh. have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther <gasps> than that of a spell like Yes! yes. Nice work. How's it feel? I it's love a tad it. Hot. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Did I just say it's hot? That's it! I think well done. Yay! I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. Oh I would have paid my. To see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't Do been here I some time. I get to know them? It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could Aww. use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. I wonder what's wrong we'll with her. Meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. <laughs> and yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. We're going to trust him. Should we? I don't know, but we are. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. <sighs> That's a big I sigh. Traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, uh, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's yeah. what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Deal. I when got I head you. to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Why does it take so long? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh no. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. 
You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I can't out Sebastian. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Oh, no. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. Ugh. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I'm not even doing anything. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. He's the one Sebastian that... Sebastian is going to get an ear Oh about my this. god. I tried. Sebastian, don't hate me. I'm sorry. Why is everyone so sassy today? That's all I've been met with this whole episode. Sass. Sass and sass and sass. I'm curious about this. Use a map with floating candles to find the trap. Huh? Does this give me a waypoint thing? No. Of course not. Do I want to deal with this today? Uh, this. What? I'm assuming this is like the... The, um... What am I trying to say? This. The Forbidden Forest. Okay, let's really quick. We'll travel here and see if we can figure it out. Okay, yeah, so it sent that. Velio. Where are the candles? Oh. Oh no. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Lumos. It said to use. Oh, I did it. Chanted candles. <laughs> Wonder where they're heading. I have to follow them. Oh, it's taking me into the dang forest, isn't it? Uh, please don't lead me anywhere that's gonna kill me. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose the people in the Forbidden Forest could see. <laughs> Treasure hunting suits me. Oh, look at that! This is cute. Okay, I just teleported us back into the castle. <gasps> There's a cat. Okay, before we leave, I have to pet at least one cat. I've walked away from all the others. Hi. Meow. Oh my god, there's another one. Okay, I can't pet all of them. I'm sorry. Well, with that, I think we're gonna end it here. I'm gonna try to make it so this episode isn't like too terribly long. But yes, next time. Next time. <laughs> we will go into the other half of the quest where we have to. I think it's Professor Weasley or whatever. Yeah, so we did half of it. We. we I couldn't skip out on the Sebastian quest. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think we accomplished some stuff today. And we got a new snazzy outfit. So that's good enough for me. <laughs> But yeah, I'll leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed, had a good time. But I, I'll, yeah, I'll leave it there and I'll see you next week. Bye.